Hello everyone, I am back with another video. Today I'll be launching a Soyuz spacecraft to rendezvous and dock with a Salyut space station I have lying around in low Earth orbit. I genuinely forgot that I had this space station <laughs> until like yesterday. I looked at SFS again and I was like, hey, I have this space station that is just abandoned here <laughs> at about like 80 kilometers above the Earth. Maybe I should do something with it. And then I was like, oh, I can launch a Soyuz to dock to the space station with like a crew of like two people. So it's not abandoned anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually an excuse because I genuinely don't have anything I can do in this game anymore. Like seriously, I already went to Uranus. I already went to Jupiter. I already went to Saturn. I already went to Neptune. I, bit, I visited basically every planet now. I don't know what else to do. Uh, post it in the comments what I should do in Space Flight Simulator, and I might heart your comment, and I might do that thing. Yeah. There goes most of the uh, rocket now, and we just entered low Earth orbit. Uh, the space station's, like, somewhere over there. There's also, like, a CubeSat right there, but that's not important. <laughs> and time warping just to the other side to you know, increase my orbit, the height of my orbit by a little, and then I will just jettison the payload, which is the Soyuz spacecraft. There it goes, and I just had to check my staging real quick because I was like, wait, <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't want the three modules to separate and have them stranded in orbit, <laughs> so yeah, and there we go, the reusable Soyuz third stage. I used it for the Lunar Soyuz, I'm going to use it for this one. Oh yeah, I, I changed the Lunar Soyuz, I changed the design. The rocket's still the same, everything's still the same, but... I changed the color scheme of the Soyuz itself, so it's now white, the landing legs are smaller, and it, it still has the three engines on the bottom, unlike the Low Earth Orbit Soyuz, which only has one. I, I need to post a, a video like showing it, so you guys know what I'm talking about. I also updated my N1 because it, it was very bad. The very first N1 I made was terrible. I I don't think I ever showed it in a video. Thank God I didn't. <laughs> and we're now, oh, what was that? <laughs> Excuse me. We're now entering Earth's atmosphere with the reusable Soyuz third stage. And we're about to deploy the parachutes now. And I kind of, I, I didn't know how far we were from the ground, so I kind of prematurely... No, actually, I deployed the landing legs a little too late. So, yeah, and now making orbital adjustments to make sure we rendezvous with the space station. Because this space station has been in orbit for, like, I don't know. <laughs> Half a year now, it's... I... I... I've had it in orbit for like a long time in terms of the game, but in real life, I'm guessing an equal amount of time. No, in game, uh, I visited every planet since I put that space station, so let's just put it at about 80 years in low Earth orbit. I don't... Wow, that's a lot. Oh my god, I... How did atmospheric drag not destroy it now? Well, atmospheric drag doesn't, you know, exist in the game. And then right there, I realized that going at the, you know, uh, I needed to go into a lower orbit to actually catch up with the space station because I was just, you know, orbiting at the exact same height as the space station and that wasn't doing anything. Yeah, you can now see it's actually getting closer right there. Yeah, that's not really the best rendezvous method, but I use it because it's easy for me. And let's zoom out. There's the space station. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, I need to make the Soyuz look a little older because it looks a little modern right now. Uh, I don't know how, though. They The game does not have the uh, Soyuz green color, which is really, really unfortunate. Steph should add that. He definitely should. And there's the space station. I almost crashed into it at one point. Like, 
it, it's somewhere around there right there i almost overshot the um time warp is i get very trigger happy when it comes to time warp um when it comes to like you know time warping maneuvers and stuff i don't know why but yeah it so yeah we've docked with the solid station now and we will just spend a few days in low earth orbit i genuinely don't know how, how much i actually um how many days i spent in orbit in terms of the game but in real life it was about a minute so yeah we are we have now detached from the salyut station and we will deorbit over the atlantic ocean actually no over the pacific ocean there it goes making sure my periapsis makes it into the atmosphere and also making sure it goes low enough because i don't want to skip off the atmosphere and go off into space again and there we go just set our course so those two modules will burn up i have no heat damage on so it doesn't matter <laughs> but yeah without heat damage i mean without no heat damage the rocket wouldn't work the soyuz wouldn't work so yeah you need uh no heat damage for that and yes i know you can disable the you know heat damage from an engine in blueprint editing but i'm not spending 30 minutes on something that can just be easily solved with the click of a button in the game so yeah i re-entered with 10 percent of fuel i was really scared that i wasn't gonna have enough to fire the retro rockets but yeah i i did in the end and i don't know why i just think it's cool to just you know press random thruster like buttons well oh <laughs> right there I, I just think it's cool to press random like thruster uh basically you know just forget it you don't, you don't care about my conversations uh yeah see it landed in the atlantic uh not atlantic pacific so yeah I'm about to touch down on the surface of i was gonna say the surface of mars for some reason the surface of the earth it's not even the surface of the earth it's in the water so there we go right there anyway yeah that's gonna be the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys later